what's up everybody welcome to pompano florida we're gonna drive around um the hoods on the north side of the city pompano florida the no pompano 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 there's a haitian flag and it's kind of faded into a jamaica uh, a brazilian flag i've never seen that before and we're gonna be uploading in 4k video which is kind of uh a new thing we're trying here is putting our recording devices on 4K. So the problem of doing 4K videos is that the files are really large. It's a much better quality video, but the files become so large that it's hard to upload. Uh, it takes a lot longer to upload. It's a lot harder to upload. Uh, this is uh, Al Bongo. It's a Haitian restaurant. I like uh, Haitian food griot, which is kind of like spicy pork chunks. Really good stuff. But um, so we're gonna have to make the video kind of be less than 15 minutes or something like that, because these uh, 4K videos are very, very large files. Um, <clears throat> very, very large files. So it takes forever to upload. So we're gonna take a ride through Pompano in 4K. Normal neighborhoods here on the north side of the city. Um, isn't Kodak Black from Pompano Beach? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. Kodak Black's from here. When you get a chance, let me look at the map real quick. When you get a chance. Um, okay. We are on the north side of Pompano. Here in the Highlands. The Highlands, yeah. Okay. Get on this way, we'll be able to palm and we'll the limits if we take it go this way. We've done videos here in the past, um, but the thing is, like, you know, camera technology has improved a lot of videos we've done in the past in a lot of these same neighborhoods. We've done the videos a few years ago, and back then we were using a GoPro like seven, I think it was, and now the video qualities are so much better that we're starting to kind of re record the same videos we did in the past, but in much much better definition so we'll be within uh, Pompano City Limits here um, I think we're in it now we're officially in Pompano let's take a turn here on Northeast 14th Avenue and we'll take a drive around the residential neighborhoods to see what it looks like the sun is to the south of us we're going to try to avoid looking at the sun as much as possible so that you guys don't get too much of a glare on the screen. At least the sun's out. Now, we just did a, a video in um, <clears throat> in Deerfield, not too far from here, where we used the side view. Now, the thing about the side view is it really gives you a better look at it. Sometimes like, when you look straight ahead, all you're looking at is that like roads and trees with the side view, you get a much nicer detailed view of the neighborhood. The problem with doing that is people will notice the camera. You can see people been doing donuts right here on the road. The bills, for real. What's up with people liking the bills nowadays? That's hilarious. I, like, everybody in Florida now likes the bills. Mm. Well, the problem with doing that type of recording, the nice thing is that you can see, like right now you guys are just seeing the road and the trees mostly. You can kind of make out a house here and there. With the side view, you can see the house and get a better view of the neighborhood. But it's much more obvious you're recording when you do that. And it really angers people. Like, we just had in Deerfield Beach. Uh, there was, a, like, a hangout spot where there was, like, 10 or 12 people. Like, one of them threw a bicycle at us. And then, like, the rest of them were, like, screaming, The guy's got a camera! Like, they were just, like, really, really, really angry at us. So, uh, it gives you a much better... And there's no glare when we do it that way because I can put the window down so I can eliminate the glare. So it's a much nicer quality video when I do it that way. But the reaction you get from people is just unbelievably aggressive. <clears throat> you, get, you, get, you get really aggressive reaction from people when you record like that. And I guess people forget that there's cameras everywhere. Like that's not even a thing. Like people don't know it's here. So that's usually not a good sign when you go into a neighborhood and you start seeing you know, the donuts on the middle of the road, people are doing donuts in the residential neighborhoods. That's usually a bad sign. It's never a good sign for a neighborhood. I like these older neighborhoods, man, like where the houses are kind of older. 
and like you know you got your old lots of big coconut trees little houses from the 70s so people just painted a nice little baby blue or yellow kind of give it a beachy feel to it Can you look up the murder rate for Pompano? I'm just curious what sure. that looks like. And the population too. It's pretty big. It's one of the bigger ones. One of the bigger cities out here. So we're on the north end of the city. Far north end of the city. Wasn't um Triple X killed in Pompano? Like he's not from Pompano, but he was killed here. I know where Triple X was killed. Dang, is that for sale? Look at the little Jaguar. Put the wheels on it. Look at this Jaguar. Jaguars are pretty nice cars. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that thing is fresh. We're gonna come back on the way back and look at it. What street's it on? 17th and 48th. You remember that 17th and 48th? Well, I'm recording so I can look back at it. Trenton has a higher rate. Yeah, I mean, what's the murder right here? Nice new fence going in. Oh, yeah, I mean, the car game is sick out here, bro. Fixing up a lot of these houses. I love these older neighborhoods just because, like, they could, once the coconut trees get to be mature, the mango trees get to be mature. Again, more people doing donuts in the middle of the road. It seems like that's a thing here. Hmm. Once, like, the neighborhoods get to be older, the palm trees get to be bigger, it just gives the neighborhood, like, look at all these coconut trees. I love it, man. Like, people pay a lot of money in new developments to have mature like a lot of the newer communities even the most expensive communities can't afford to put in all new coconut trees you got this little older neighborhood oh look they got a bunch out i wonder if they sell them i wonder if they sell them baby you see how many coconut trees they got there eight per a hundred thousand the murder rate is only eight per hundred thousand mm -hmm. so that's about average that's not bad at all and that was for 2019 that's not bad at all mm -hmm. So it seems like crime rate, murder rates are starting to level off to a good mm -hmm. level. Yeah. You know, safe, safer level mm -hmm. nowadays. Where the only thing, the only city we, that we've seen on the East Coast was at uh, Riviera. Mm -hmm. Had a really high murder rate. Look at that size of those coconut trees back there, man. Yeah. Like 50 foot tall. Mm -hmm. Nice mirror right on that fence. That's pretty cool. Dude, those coconut trees and royal palm trees over there are so tall. Hey, a for rent. How much? How much? What's it say? Studio. A studio? Hey, uh, what's the intersection? It's right on top of your head. 18th and... 18th for what? 48. 18th and 48, guys. 18th and 48, there's a rent. A for rent studio. So if somebody's looking for a rent... I know right now rents are really, really hard to find. So if right now you're watching this video live and you're looking for a rent, that's a unique opportunity. The good thing is that rents are starting to come along. Mm -hmm. Finally, rents are starting to appear in Florida, which they had literally disappeared off the map for a mm -hmm. while. And they're starting to come back around. So And it seems like rent by owner, not yeah, by yeah. property not managers. Not by property managers. That means that you can actually, you don't need perfect credit or whatever, you know. Now, there's also a lot of scams. You got to watch out for those. Mm -hmm. It might just be that there's more scams going around. Like Florida, rental scams are a thing where they make it look like they got a rental and they're really just trying to scam people. So, all right, guys. So that is a drive around of a normal neighborhood in Pompano here. Um, it's good to see for rent signs again. Um, you know, housing in Florida is so difficult. It's, it's sad, really, how difficult it is um, to find rents. You remember the intersection Long Haul Drive, where I said it was 17? Let me look at the map real quick. I want to go find that little Jaguar that was for sale. 
You know what I was thinking? If we do buy a little car just to, like for the weekends type of thing. Mm -hmm. And we just need something where we can drive there on the weekends or whatever. Yeah. What I thought about was... We could just buy it and then let let that have it in Naples. He, like we'll buy it, put it under our name, but we'll give it to Dad. 